It all began when the wildlife officers discovered a lone elephant wandering in an unusual spot, the only hilly area in the region. Something wasn't right. This majestic creature was moving with evident discomfort, hindered by a large tumor on its hind leg. Acting swiftly, the Sri Lanka Wildlife Conservation Department gathered their team and prepared the medical equipment and medicines needed for the rescue. They knew time was of the essence. This wasn't an area elephants typically frequent, yet here was this gentle giant, possibly in search of relief, far from his usual grounds. As the team reached the scene, they didn't have to look far. There he was, the elephant, already subdued by the anesthetics, resting under the weight of his injury. The tumor on his leg bore old scars, signs of a long-standing struggle. With his injured leg unusable, he had been staggering, unable to support himself fully. Quick, cover his eyes with a cloth to keep him calm. Someone called out as they prepared for the delicate task. The medics gathered around, their tools at the ready. Scissors, gauze, hydrogen peroxide, saline, everything needed to clean and dress the deep wound. Carefully, they began, enlarging the wound to remove the infection festering inside. Pus spilled out, revealing the extent of the damage. They knew this wound wouldn't heal overnight. It would take time, dedication, and patience.
There's more, said one of the vets. Fragments of bullets may be embedded inside. We'll need to scan, just as we do for Agbo, referring to another elephant's treatment. With the wound cleaned, they applied antibiotics to speed up the healing and prevent further infection. Hang in there, big guy, someone whispered, touching the elephant's trunk gently. You're in good hands. We'll be back soon to check on you and make sure you're healing. This giant, the king of the wild, deserved a life without pain. And thanks to these dedicated rescuers, he would have a fighting chance.